Okay. I'm hoping that you can see this. I am using my cell phone to record my work computer. So this is going to be the first video in my series of making a three to five page notebook from scratch the way I do it in Google Slides. So you open up Google Slides and it's free. So the, this is what my first, um, my uh, I guess you could call it my home page looks like and it's the owned by me section. And this drop down menu can owned by anyone, not owned by me, it gives you options. But this is where all your stuff that you save will be. This is an open file picker, this is sort options, and this is the list view, it changes the view. I prefer to see the pictures. Okay, so we're going to do this from scratch. So you go down to this bottom screen, and I'm hoping you can see this entire screen, but you go down to the bottom here and you click on the plus sign and two things pop up. Create a new presentation or choose a template. I still haven't gone in and made any templates yet, so I'm gonna just do a new presentation. Every time I think about doing that, I forget and I don't do it. So when you choose a new presentation, this is how your screen pops up. There's a theme, so if you wanna, um, obviously this is like PowerPoint, so you would be choosing a, a, a theme. So um, let me tilt this just a little. Like I said, I'm using my cell phone to record the screen at work and it's hard for me to to see because the cell phone is propped up <laughs> on something else. Anyway, this is what opens up when you click on new presentation. So um, the themes is, are just color schemes because remember this is the PowerPoint um, equivalent from Google. So I just closed that out. So I click on this and then I hit delete because I want a blank page to start and I need to really set up the theme in order to do that. Okay, so I have my regular white background. This is where your slides show as you do them. The one thing I wish Google would fix is I wish that they would, um, if you put your curse, I mean your um, pointer here, I wish that you could, you know, move this over to be smaller. I wish they would allow that in the app and on the desktop. So for now, I just use this little hand. See how that it turns into a hand when you touch those little three dots there? And I just drag that down and that gives me a little more working room. But I do wish that I could move this. I also go up here to the three dots for more. And I turn the zoom uh, to smaller, just enough to be able to see up here. And that gives me a little more working room too. So I'm going to click up here and I'm going to, um, let me change that zoom back so you can see, change it back to 100%. So I click up here where it says Untitled Presentation and I'm going to name this and we're going to name this Notebook Sample and hit enter. All right. So now I am going to look at my top menu here I have file edit view insert slide format arrange tool table help in the it says all changes are saved here I have a plus sign for adding new slides I have a print I have an undo I have a redo there's a paint format there's a zoom to fit there's a zoom button then I have my um, pointer text box image to insert, shape to insert, line to insert, add a comment, change the background, apply a layout, change the theme, change the transition. These kind of are for the slides themselves. Let's do background. So the background color is always white to begin. You can have a gradient background and these are all the choices that you have for that. You can choose solid. Here are the colors in the normal theme and you can click on custom and you're able to do a custom color. I'm just going to choose a regular background. Let's choose do, 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 something a little bit soft. Let's choose the light orange. And we're going to either click done to apply it to the one slide or we're going to click 
add to theme, which means it'll be on every slide that we add. Let's add it to the theme so that every slide, slide that we add, if I click on new blank slide, see this? It's going to show me that my background, so every blank slide that I click on, it will do that. And let's do five blank slides. Since we're doing a notebook that's going to be about five pages anyway, might as well go ahead and get it out the way. Let's go back to number one. So we're going to insert a shape. This is how I start my books. You have all these shapes to choose from. I like to choose the one that's rounded rectangle. If you hover, it shows you the name. I like to choose rounded rectangle and I go from the left all the way over to the right, taking up pretty much the whole space, leaving just a minuscule edge. This little diamond here, I am going to now change my zoom back. Okay. This little diamond, which is really hard to see, it's a little teeny diamond. Notice the difference. Here I have the white four arrow. And then when I touch the diamond, it changes into a regular plus sign. Okay, so that little skinny plus sign changes the curves of my shape. Go from pill shape, a big pill shape, to a complete square, I mean a rectangle. I like mine kind of in between. This is going to be the cover of our notebook. Let's go here. Once we click on that, we get a few other options. If we're going to write in it, we get this whole text side that pops up. We also get the fill color, the, back, the border color, which is the lines, the line thickness and weight, and then the dashed lines or not. We also get the font, the size, the bold, italic, underline, the text color, insert a link, add a comment, alignment, line spacing, numbered list, bulleted list, all these things that, that come with text like if you were in a regular Word document. Let's change the notebook color. Um, let's, it's the cover and it is going to, um, let's do a yellow. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I've done this color once before. Oh, that is an ugly color. That's like puke yellow. All right, let's try green instead. All right, let's do green. Let's actually, for this first page, let's shorten this to half a page. Let's make this the front cover. And let's move it over just a wee bit. Oh, and move it down so we have the same amount of border. If you see that red line that pops up, the top red line here shows me that's the end of my edge. If I touch the bottom with this shape, that's the bottom edge. And if you see that line pops up, that means it's centered completely. Centered between the top, the header, and the footer, basically. Okay, so that's a pretty green, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, this is the front cover of my notebook. I can make it as skinny or as wide as I want, depending on the kind of notebook. I'm thinking something like this looks like a decent sized notebook. Now, a notebook needs some kind of binding. So, to add a picture, I would go here where it says image, and I would click on that. And I'm not going to choose anything to upload. All of my things are in my Google Drive. If your stuff is on your hard drive of your computer, you would click the blue and go to upload an image. My items are all in my Google Drive. They're all here in the Digital Planner Items folder. So I double click there. Then I go into my PNGs. And PNGs are just um, photos or pictures that have no background. They are basically um, see-through where you would normally have a background you would be able to move it around as a solid picture by itself so in here I have rings and strings strings being for TNs when I make a TN notebook so let's see let's see let's see um, 
which one let's use hmm let's use this one because that's a spiral bound and that shows a spiral all right now the thing about this is you see how this blue box is here so I didn't make this PNG but we have all this space that we can we can easily move this where we want it to be okay easy there we get we could move it like that and be done with it you know I could stretch it make it taller whatever whatever um, you can go over here I can make it the same height as my notebook so it makes sense that those rings are on the notebook boom it looks beautiful I love it it's beautiful it's lined up perfectly however I cannot click on my cover anymore every time I click in this space it's going to be bringing up the rings so what I like to do is I like to crop if an image is smaller than the box around it I just crop it and then I click in the gray space now you see how my blue box has changed size now that gives me the opportunity to click here and actually touch on my notebook and when I click on the rings it has a, a smaller box fitting to the ring size bam perfect now let's say I want some a picture or something on my front cover I don't want it just to be a plain front cover I'm gonna go back to images um, I'm going to go back one oops I'm back too far Clicked the wrong thing sorry um, we're gonna go back to PNGs and let's see I have heroes and cartoons I have social media free printables abstract floral let's go into floral and these are if you notice all the PNGs have that black I mean that white and gray checkered behind it let me show you how you find a PNG I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna type in there floral PNG enter then I click on images then what I do is I click on a picture I like if it comes up gray and white like this then I know that that's going to be just the image of the picture all the gray and white you see will not be there so then I right click save image as and I do save it on the computer to start out then we'll go here I'll open up my Google Drive I go into and see how it saved this notebook already the one we're currently working on it saves stuff automatically which is what I love so if my computer crashes no problem it's saved there so I go in my digital planning items, I go into PNG all, I go into floral, and then I click up here, new, file upload. And then I just go find, if it will hurry up, well these are all numbers, that one was saved as floral. Mm -mm -mm. You're looking at all my beautiful family pictures here, huh? there it is and just double click on it and it uploaded it and here it is right here so let's close that out and now we can close out the search so and you can you can search for any PNG that you want so I'm gonna close this because I want to put in the PNG that we just did so go back to image and it should be there yep here it is now it's huge it is huge so all you have to do like anything else is you just shrink it down to the size you want it to be and I think I want this to be flipped so if I right click you get this nice little menu cut copy paste paste without formatting order rotate center on page all these things I'm gonna rotate it you can rotate 90 degrees clockwise 90 degrees counterclockwise flip horizontal flip vertical I'm gonna flip horizontal And then I'm going to click again and I'm going to flip vertical because I want it in that corner up there. Now, if I didn't want to do that and have to, 
I could have left it where it was in this little hang down the the corners that you pull in there's an extra one here that has a little circle if I do that I can just move it and rotate it so I'm gonna undo that because it's not the right way so I don't have to do the double clicking and the click over and I don't have to do that I can just grab it and rotate it if I wanted to okay so we're gonna put that there that's for our front cover please forgive any shaking because again my phone is recording this so you know it's gonna be what it is all right now I want to put um, I can always right click and copy and paste and we can rotate it is thundering outside I'm so sick of rain and now we have this pretty design that's pretty it actually looks good with the green so how about we put a, um, a shape let's do a text box we've already seen how to do a shape let's do a text box so we click on the T for text box you get when you're on the PC you get the um, I don't know what it's called but you get the crossbars that let you open your text box to the size you want when you're on the app it just automatically opens up a rent a, a size of a text box that's just whatever size the good thing about a text box is there's no background when you open up a shape it is always that light gray shape the text box comes with no background but I can add a background if I look up here I have a fill color I can change it to whatever color I like if I wanted to keep with my green I could do green if I wanted to do something brighter although that's a little bit bright I could choose something within that same family whatever one you check you have different variations just like you do in the app it's the same variation colors just like there are in the app I could choose something a little lighter that's in that same bright pink family I get different variations if I want to go purple I can choose something a little bit lighter so on and so forth but I can always click up here to transparent where I keep it free of any color so we're gonna give it the same name we gave it when we titled this whole project which is notebook sample and then I'm gonna double click on it to select it all or if you're in a text box you can do control a which will select all the text I get all my text stuff up here I want to make it bold I want to align it to the center of the box and I want to align it here if you push the top the words stay on the top of the box if you push the bottom the words sink to the bottom of the box if you push the ones that have the arrow up and down it stays in the center which is where I want it I also don't want it to do Arial I love Arial font but I don't want to do it for this I went online and added all these fonts hundreds of fonts and it's clicked down here where it says more fonts it takes you to another it opens up in another tab where you can click on more fonts this is not even half of what's available I just got tired of clicking on different fonts so I'll do it another day these are the fonts that you've most recently used up here usually so I am going to do the yellowtail font I like that font and I made it bold but I don't want to make it bold because I'm gonna make it bigger let's try 30 30 looks good you can also click in the box and type in whatever you want there's 40 I don't want it on two lines let's try 35 that's still too big so let's go back to 30 looks fine to me I will stretch it out a little I'm gonna select it all again because I think I do want it bigger there we go all right there's our front cover of our notebook okay let's add another picture over here in an image um, click here PNG all let's go to do, 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 pins we're gonna put a pin on the side of our bojo or bujo I'm sorry I, I don't know why I call that a bojo it's a bujo because bullet journal buh, buh not B-O, it's B-U. I like the color pens. I think I'm going to use this yellow pen. See how wide and huge that is? We're going to crop it again. Next to the crop, there's a little drop down. And it, you can crop it to a shape. I do this especially with pens. 
And I love this shape where it says diagonal stripe. That is my favorite shape to do my pins in. This box comes up. Well, it's not really a box. It's this weird shape. It's short here. It's got a cut off here and a cut off there. So my picture is not in that shape. I'm going to move that shape so that my, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to, oh goodness, what happened? Okay. Ah, uh, what happened? So I'm going to move. Oh, I gotta get that little line. Where's that little line? Uh, come on, line. I uh, don't do that. There's a little black line there that I'm trying to line up on. Okay, let's do the undo. Go back, go back, go back. All right, let's try that again. Crop to sh up to shape diagonal stripe. Where's that black line to crop? Uh. All right, well, you know what? Let's crop it to a regular rectangle shape then. Whatever. Uh, why is it not doing a crop? All right, let's just do a regular crop then. Although I don't think I can do a regular crop because, all right, never mind. We'll try that on something else. We're just gonna make this smaller. So the pen in real in relation to the notebook should not be humongous. I'm gonna move this so it's this way. I'm gonna put it right next to it and see how the sizing is. I think I want it even smaller. Think about the size of your pens next to a real notebook, a real pen next to a real notebook. Alright, it's about half the size, maybe a smidge more if I stood it up straight. So now let's see if the crop to shape will work. I don't know why. Nope, it's still acting funny. Huh. Sorry guys, for some reason the crop to shape does not want to cooperate with me. And neither regular crop will, but it's going to cut some of my pin off on the bottom. I will crop just a teeny weeny smidge of it. Doesn't help much, but oh well. I don't have anything going on over here that I'm going to need to click more than um, that. This is this bo blue box is not going to get in the way of it, so it's no big deal. All right, let's insert a image. We're going to go back here. If you click here, right here, it says My Drive Digital Planner Items and PNGs. I clicked up here last time, and that takes me all the way back. So if I want to just go back to my list of PNGs, they're there. Okay, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Table decor. I named this table decor. Things you would sit on a table next to you while you're planning. <laughs> okay, see that? It's a bookmark, a little stack of books, some colored pencils, things like that. I am going to go all the way back because there are a few images I have not uploaded yet, and here is one of them, and that is a cup of tea. And it is huge. And I know that it's too small. I just want to move it and then resize it. Whoops. I didn't mean to move that. I just want that corner, not the... There we go. So say someone's sitting having tea and doing their journaling. All right. So that's page one. This video is now 23 minutes and some odd seconds. So I'm going to stop it and I'm going to come back. I'm going to continue, but I'm going to do it in a different video because I don't want to risk anything cutting us off. So I'm going to stop this video. If I can get my setup here without touching anything. And I will be back in another video right away.